I was uh, born in Portland and, and raised in the Pacific Northwest. My husband was diagnosed with early stage Alzheimer's a uh, little over eight years ago. And uh, we kind of knew something was happening. And it, it comes on gradually. He, he would have an episode of something strange like like driving past a road closed sign and not seeing it? The straw that actually broke the camel's back was what we call the kitchen cabinet incident. One morning I walked into the kitchen and um, saw Bob pulling on the side of the kitchen cabinet. And I, I stood and watched him for a few minutes and he just kept pulling on the same side. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, well, it won't open. And finally she tells me, well, why don't you, you should open the other side. So I reach around and of course the cabinet door opens. My stomach just turned over and I thought, this is not lack of focus. This is cognitively something very different. So we went back and that's when we started the process of the testing and so on. And found out that he was diagnosed with early stage Alzheimer's. The sooner one finds out whether or not uh, they have um, cognitive issues, uh, the, the sooner they can get started on an active program to help themselves. Bob quickly got on medication, he exercised, he started eating right. We started working on all the things that could help Alzheimer's progress more slowly. But I also think it's important to talk to each other about how you want to proceed and how you want things to happen in the future because the guilt can be both ways. You know, if I have to make decisions for my partner later on that he's at some point not going to remember that we talked about it, but I know we talked about it and he said he wanted this and he wanted it to be done this way, then I won't feel guilty when I have to do that because he won't remember it. So we should discuss the future while everybody's alert. <laughs> Juanita and I, of course, started working on, on paperwork, uh, changing some of our insurance and our other legal paperwork uh, that we have to make sure that our finances were properly set in order, uh, wills, powers of attorney, making some uh, minor changes there. And I, of course, strongly recommend this to, uh, to anybody out there. The quicker you act, the better time you're going to have. You can plan, you can, you can organize your life. Since then, uh, Juanita and I have tried to do as much traveling as we can. We both love to travel. We've been fortunate in being able, able to do that, uh, even with the dementia. We find ourselves at this point in our life uh, with no regrets. Thank you.